Hello folks, my name is Luis Iberroquel and on this episode I'm going to show you how to stitch together digital elevation models using ArcGIS 10.6. You could follow me at Twitter at, at Luis Iberroquel and if you like my episodes please subscribe to my channel. Now if you want to follow along the tutorial you can find the data at bit.ly slash Luis Iberroquel underscore DEMs. Sometimes you're required to merge or stitch a couple of DMs together in order to do the analysis. So I'm going to show you a quick way to do this. Now the first thing we need to do is get our digital elevation model data. Uh, the best and easiest place to get this is from uh, dwtkns.com. This uh, site was made by Derek Watkins and it's one of the easiest uh, places to get uh, data from the shuttle radar topography mission or SRTM most people know it so I'm going to get some tiles from Panama I'm going to zoom into Panama which is my country where I live and I'm going to start downloading the different uh, DEMs I'm going to click here just click on download DEM and I'm just going to download it all the data all the data is on the on the link I, I showed you at the beginning but if you want to do it on your own terms this is a nice place where you can find uh, the SRTM data as you can see I have finished downloading these nine tiles uh, which I'm going to use to stitch them or merge them together because my area of study is here in Cochlea and I want to have all the adjacent areas uh, to do my study after downloading the DEMs, I unzip them because they're, they're, when you download them, they are in zip format. Now I'm going to add them to ArcMap. So I'm going to click here on Add Data. I'll look into Geodata, DEM Data, Cochle, and I'm going to select, click Shift, select them all, and add them to the map. Now, as so you can see, here I have my nine tiles. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to group them together in order to manage them a little bit better. So I'm going to right click here, let's click on group. And as you can see, it has created a group for me. I'm going to click once, I'll call it DEM. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to be able to turn them off and on all at the same time. This will be very useful when I'm trying to compare uh, the DEM um, I merged with these ones. Before we merge our DEMs together, we need to know what's the depth of the pixel, or how, what's the precision of, of the data. For that, we're going to right click on one of the DEMs, we're going to click on properties, we're going to go to the source tab, and here you can see we have pixel type signed integer and its pixel depth is 16 bits. So we're going to use that when we create the new uh, raster. To stitch our images together, we're going to use a tool uh, in our toolbox called Mosaic to New Raster. I'm going to double click here. I'm going to select each of our DEMs one by one because it will not let me select them all at once for reasons that are not clear to me. Voila, I have all my nine uh, DEMs. I'm going to select an output location. I'm going to select the folder results. And, and I'm going to name my raster da data set Google Surroundings. Uh, I'm going to leave spatial reference for raster in blank. And here, I'm going to select the pixel type. And if you remember, 
uh, the, the rasters are 16 beat signed. The number of bands, I'm going to leave cell size a blank, and when number of bands, I'm going to put one. The mosaic operator, I'm going to use last, which means if, if there are pixels that are overlapping, it'll take the, the last raster, uh, we'll use the value from that. And uh, this doesn't matter because uh, the EMs don't have a color map, or at least these ones don't have. I'm going to click OK. And name of a single bug cannot be more than this is an old limitation from grids. Uh, so I have to reduce the signs around source. Click OK. And now, as you can see down here, it's working. I'm going to click on it so I can see the results. It's going to take a little time. Uh, well, it seems to have finished. It has added it here into my table of contacts. I'm going to close the results and I'm going to turn off my DMs to make sure that I'm not cheating. And here as you can see I have my uh, DM all merged into one uh, grid. The last thing we're going to do is classify our DM, the, the one that we've merged, uh, in order to give it a nice look. So we're going to right click over the Merge DM, click on Properties, Symbology, on the tab of Symbology I'm going to select Classify. I'll select uh, seven bands, that's the number I like. I'm going to click on Classify because I want the first break to be uh, in one. So it'll, it'll uh, display the shore properly. Okay, and I'm going to select a color that's uh, pleasing. I personally like this one, which will give me white uh, for very high numbers and green for green to blue for uh, low values. I click OK. Now, as you can see, I have a nicely uh, mapped uh, DEM. Well, folks, that's all for this episode. If you like my uh, videos, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.